What's up guys? This is Pro Warriors. In today's video, we're diving into PPSSPP Gold, where I'll show you how to play your favorite PlayStation games on Android with a pro-level experience. No clickbait here. I'm actually playing PSP games on my device, and even though it's got an entry-level chip, I'm hitting HD graphics and smooth 60 FPS with the PPSSPP Gold emulator. Stick around, because I'll walk you through setting up PPSSPP Gold, optimizing settings for the best performance, customizing controls, and loading up ROMs for flawless gameplay. This is a full start-to-finish guide, so be sure to watch the whole video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap that bell to stay updated. The PPSSPP emulator for Android is a top choice for transforming your Android device into a PSP console, known for its high compatibility and performance. You can download it from the Google Play Store with features like customizable graphics, input support, cheats, and more. It's completely legal since PPSSPP doesn't include any preloaded games. In my last video, I showed you how to set up the standard PPSSPP app, but now I'll be testing out PPSSPP Gold. To start, go to the Google Play Store and search PPSSPP. You'll see two versions, the free blue version and PPSSPP Gold, a paid version. While the free app works well, PPSSPP Gold provides a slight boost in FPS along with the latest advanced updates, all for just $5 and it's a great way to support the developers. It's a small app, so it will download in a few seconds. After installing, launch PPSSPP. The app will ask you to select a folder where PSP data will be stored. Simply click OK, and you'll be directed to your phone's internal storage. Create a new folder and name it PPSSPP. Then click Use this folder to allow the emulator to store the data. Now we're inside the emulator, and you'll see the main screen where your games will be displayed. Since this is your first time using it, the library will be empty. You can add games manually by navigating to the Homebrew and Demos section on the top bar. Click on the PPSSPP Homebrew Store to see available demos. However, I don't think these are very interesting, so instead, we'll manually download and add our favorite PSP games. Switch to the Games tab at the top, click Browse, and navigate to the folder where you've stored your PSP games. Make sure you have legally obtained game files in PSP ISO format. Before playing, let's check out the settings to ensure the best experience. In the Graphics section, you'll find two rendering options, Vulkan and OpenGL. Vulkan is recommended for better performance on low-end devices, while OpenGL is ideal for higher quality on more powerful devices. Start with Vulkan, but switch to OpenGL if your device can handle it. Next is the Rendering Resolution setting. Higher resolutions make games look sharper but require more processing power. Set this to 4x if your device supports 1080p and adjust it based on performance. For the display resolution, keep it at native to match your phone's resolution. V-Sync helps prevent screen tearing but can lower FPS, so turn it off for smoother gameplay on lower-end devices. If your device struggles, you can enable frame skipping and start at a low value like 1 to see how it affects performance. Another important setting is buffer graphics commands. Setting this to 1 or no buffer can improve performance. Experiment with this option based on your device. In terms of texture filtering, switching to linear improves visuals but requires more processing power. If you experience glitches, try enabling the low resolution effects option. Turn on show FPS counter and show speed option to monitor performance. The controls menu is another highlight of PPSSPP. You can fully customize the touch controls, including the size and position of buttons. If you use a Bluetooth controller, you can disable the touch controls altogether. In the audio menu, I recommend keeping the default settings. And as for the system menu, there are lots of options, but I don't think any changes are necessary here. Don't worry if you mess something up. There's always the option to restore settings to default. Now let's launch a game to see how it runs. Here is WWE All Starts, running on the emulator. As you can see, it performs well, hitting 60 FPS at a one-time resolution. Increasing the resolution improves the visual quality and I'm still getting full speed. You can also save your progress and customize settings for each game. I've tested other titles like God of War, Need for Speed, Rivals, Sonic, Metal Slug, Tekken 8, and Mortal Kombat, and they all run great. PPSSPP is free, feature-packed, and a fantastic way to enjoy PSP games on your Android phone. Make sure to like, subscribe, and join our Discord server if you need any help. See you in the next video. Take care.